how did we become so acidic? It's really pretty simple. Um, the first and foremost, and it's number one for a reason, because it has everything to do with what we do and don't put in our mouth on a daily basis. You know, we 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 know we're in charge of our health, and uh, you know, I think before I think there's been a lot of uh, realizations over the last. I don't know, maybe just the last decade or so. I mean, I think about when I grew up, and I grew up on processed foods and sugar and macaroni and cheese and just junk, you know, but we didn't know any difference. There was none of this, this information wasn't out there that it was damaging to the body. You know, we just thought it was food. <laughs> so, you know, there's been kind of a, a revelation over the last decade or so that has made us realize that these things aren't good for us. And, you know, one of the ways we've noticed that, unfortunately, is just the increase in the rise of disease and so many people being sick and unhealthy and no energy and just every, all diseases are increasing. You know, and we know that there's a cause for it. So, number one, food, plain and simple. Um, we'll talk about some of the important foods. I gave you a, an alkalizing food list. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, stress and anxiety. Big one. Um, if you're constantly stressed out, you're constantly anxious, your body is in a constant state of acidity. You can't digest your food properly. Okay? Your body's in that kind of that fight mode, like that fight or flight response. All the energy is in your nervous system, and you can't digest your food, your blood's not circulating properly. It affects everything else in your body. I'm sure we've all heard of uh, people that have ulcers, and we've heard that ulcers are caused by stress. I mean, this is a perfect example of it, of that constant acidic. And if somebody is so stressed out that it's caused an ulcer, they've been stressed out for a long time. Just like anything else, that doesn't happen overnight. Okay, and, you know, it's a tricky subject because there's a lot of reasons people have sh stress and issues like that. A lot of people are dealing with emotional traumas from their past and things like that, things they're holding on to they can't let go of. You know, all that can really affect your health. So that's why it's good to uh, um, to deal with those things if, if you can. Sedentary lifestyle, uh, lack of movement, lack of exercise, you need blood flow, you need lymphatic flow. Uh, you gotta have a transport system. You gotta have a transport system for nutrients to get to the body and to the cells and to the tissues and organs. And you gotta have a transport system to get the waste out. Without it, you're going to have accumulation of toxins. One of the main reasons people get acidic is they're dehydrated. They don't drink enough water. The transport system, the river stops. The stuff just accumulates. It's got nowhere to go. Pollution and toxins, it's pretty obvious. We live in a pretty polluted world. Don't have to go over all the things that are in our world that are polluting us, but you know, just in our food supply, it's just it's out of control. They, I can't remember the statistics I saw, but they make something like 20,000 new chemicals every year that go into our food supply, you know, and it's just nonstop. Oh, I better tell you this, if you haven't heard. You guys know about high fructose corn syrup. Everybody's heard and seen a lot of the studies and the damaging effects of high fructose corn syrup. They're renaming high fructose corn syrup. Have you heard this? Corn sugar. Yep. Okay, so you guys know. That's good. Corn sugar. So now people are going to go, oh, corn sugar, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty crazy how uh, you know, they just look for ways to slip things through the cracks to kind of deceive us. So got to stay alert. Um, and then, yeah, I just don't be afraid of acids. Um, there's lots of beneficial acids in the body. Hydrochloric acid is the only one that the body produces on a daily basis, but there's a lot of other acids in the body that are products of metabolism. For example, acidophilus. What does acidophilus mean? It means acid-loving bacteria. Acidophilus, one of the reasons they're so important to have them in your system is they secrete acids that destroy invaders. They actually secrete hydrogen peroxide and other acids that, that will kill incoming pathogens. Um, coconut, for example. Why, why is coconut oil so beneficial? It's super high in caprylic acid and lauric acid. Same thing, but caprylic acid and lauric acid destroy pathogens. Um, a lot of people take caprylic acid supplements for urinary tract infections or for fungal infections. Um, so acids are important too. Again, it's all about balance. 